All right, it's time. Well, it's almost time. One hour. One more hour of this stupid thing inside of me. Ah. Ah. It's finally, it's finally done. All right, time to go to the doctor's office and take this thing out. Morning. We're here, and Sean is excited to get the catheter out. I just want to get this done. sing in the shower. I get to see my baby again. Oh baby. He's not here. Arthur? Arthur? Are you downstairs baby? I missed you. I missed your cute little Hi, oh, you want to kiss me? I missed you. I missed you. I missed you. Kiss me. I missed you. I missed you. I missed you. You miss me? No, I'm sorry, baby. I missed you. You're so happy to see me. I won't ever leave you like that again. These are my toes. Hi, baby. I missed you. I missed you. Sean's upstairs. You miss Sean? You wanna go see Sean? He's upstairs. You wanna go upstairs? You forget who Sean is? Did you forget who Sean was? You just wanna go outside? Shows how much he loves you. Alright, so the catheter is finally out. And you know what, as much as I was talking about how like uncomfortable and painful having the catheter in was, you know what really sucks? Getting the catheter taken out. Holy crap. That was, that was really bad. It basically, like, cause all, cause all they did was they deflated the little balloon thing and they just pulled it out and it felt like I was basically felt like I was peeing lava <laughs> uh, it hurt so bad and it like hurt all the way home and it's just uh but I can move around now uh, it still feels a little weird 
just because I, I was I got used to the catheter I guess so still gonna take a while to get used to not having it in now but I think all is good all is good if there's a problem I'll go back and we'll figure that all out but hopefully hopefully all is good it's finally over and this has been uh, a long process since like November <sighs> I'm good. I'm good. Arthur, you're just the cutest ever. Can you see, Pin? <laughs> you're very adorable. Hello. Arthur's more adorable sleeper than you. What did I look? Oh, uh, that was pretty bad. <laughs> that, uh, I was like. <laughs> That's like the first like, good sleep I've had in a long time, so. It's nice. It's... I'm glad. Oh. <laughs> and you barely rubbed. Beautiful. All right. It's five o'clock, Sean. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So we should start drinking. Is that what you're saying? Yes, actually. Okay. That's exactly what I'm saying. All right. So I just peed for the first time since getting the catheter out, and <laughs> I was just like, "Holy crap!" <laughs> because I haven't been able to go to the bathroom normally for like over half a year <laughs> and it's just, it caught me off guard because I was like I don't know it's it's been so long that I got used to I, I got I got used to not being able to go to the bathroom properly so it became like the norm and it was just like you know I would take like two three four minutes to go to the bathroom and I just took like six seconds <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! It's such a weird thing to be like super happy about and like, I don't know, but it's, yeah, it's a big thing. I'm just, uh, uh it's good. It's really good. Whew. It was worth it. The whole catheter and the waiting and the everything. <sighs> There's a Scott. Sitting outside on the longest day of the year, yes. playing some apples to apples with Scott and Scott's family. You still doing that every day? Yeah, still doing it For every how day. How long now? Four. Today is day 485, oh, I believe. So yeah, we're almost at 500. I think uh, July 6th will be day 500. So yeah, still doing it. Yeah, today is what longest longest day. It's the first day of summer. Yep, as of 1 a.m. As of 1 a.m. Cool. All right, back at Lids after a long night at Scott's. Not as long as it normally is, but still pretty late. Anyways, time to get some sleep. It'll be good sleep. I did have a nap uh, today, but I mean this will be like a good like full night's sleep without a catheter, which will be <laughs> to be really nice, really needed. All right. Good night. If there's any problems, I will go back and talk to the urologist again, to figure stuff out, but... Screw you, machine thing. Always screwing up my blogs.